a Geeks Tim Tippett here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Driver Easy, one of many driver utilities to update all your drivers. I don't do it one by one and I don't miss it anymore because there's just too many programs out there now that do a good job. There's Driver Booster, which is one I tend to lean towards. Uh, there's Driver Easy, Driver Talent, Driver Agent, Driver Max, Driver Pack Solution. Oh, and on and on and on we go. There's quite a few choices there. So Driver Easy has its pros, it has its cons. It has over 3 million drivers in its database. It scans very fast. In this case, as always, I should say to you, since I'm in my VMware workstation, that it's going to show all my drivers up to date at this point. However, you may have some that are missing. It goes pretty quick here to 90, 92. I think it might slow down here while it accesses the databases. You can see it jumped to 90 pretty fast, and then it goes at the database to see what you have. If your driver is up to date, it'll show you here. If it's not, it, there will be a button here for you to click to update the driver. You can list it from different up-to-date drivers. You can hide it, bury it, no big deal on that. Um, you can get at your hardware info, however, I think it needs to be started in yeah, administrator mode. So if you want to do that, right-click on the program before you start it and run it as administrator. This way, when it does come up, it will give you your system info tab, which can be handy if you're trying to determine a hardware problem, for example, that you don't recognize. As you can see, we have my network driver we have Windows 10 the Intel Core i7 it'll try and break it all down for you as you can see it does a very good job of it your main board your memory your BIOS graphic card etc so sometimes this might help you for trying to identify a hardware problem in your tools you have driver backup you have driver restore driver uninstall and offline scan now the offline scan is handy because if you wanted to take a bunch of drivers with you you could have them especially network drivers I don't as a tech you've run into that problem before I am sure where you you're kind of screwed on a machine that you restored without a network driver so but let's take a look back here because let's cover the limitations on driver easy I'm not a massive fan on it you can find out if you click register now this is where you bump into your problems Yes, you can update your drivers as you can see here, but you have to do them one at a time, as I pointed out before. So to purchase the program, you can get all the other features. Now, another downside is the 40 to 80 kilobyte speed. Now, that kind of bothers me a little bit too, because that's awful slow. I think some of the stuff like, I think IOBit does it kind of slow to start up and then it speeds up, so it's much more tolerable. It also lets you batch update your drivers because odds are there's more than one driver. So you could be, sitting around for a while if a lot of your drivers are out of date so you're probably going to want to go for one of the other ones I mentioned whether it be driver booster or driver talent or one of those because you just got a lot of limitations here now I understand the backup and restore I understand automatic upgrade I understand the create restore point kind of if you're going to update people's drivers and you're going to sell a professional version you should have backup included by default no other way it just should be part of it in case you have a problem you can't come back so what good did it do you at that point buy it or don't buy it you're kind of in trouble so it gets the job done i just think they need to modify what they're giving you for free because it's just so so limited so let me see what they're getting for it now if we pop open our web pages I'm just kind of curious what they're asking for it I haven't looked in a while I'm sure it says it on our page probably eh, 29 95 it's fair but again I'd like to see them make some changes on this I, I can live with the download speed I can live with the one driver but you got to give people backup and restore so still a good program check it out if it's something you want to try the people that use it like it most people tend to pick a program use it become familiar with it and they're happy with it this might be one for you as you can see it's a very simple interface to get through and use so there's not much to it so there you go as always thank you for watching click on subscribe and we'll see you next time